of Game Tunes vs. the Darkness is finally over. Once and for all, player has defeated the monster and expelled it from this universe. But I know all too well that Game Tunes was just a small part of its plans. The Darkness seeks to conquer everything in its path, including my homeworld, learning with Pippi. And learning with Pippi, learning was so fun. We liked to spell and we liked to hug. I had so many great friends. Gus the Gator was always brushing his big front two teeth. He taught me about hygiene and how to stay healthy. Lily Ladybug introduced me to colors and together we made all sorts of fun arts and crafts projects. Seymour Skunk loved solving math problems and showing me basic arithmetic. Even the sun herself taught me about weather and our solar system. They were all very dear to me. I loved them. But even more than all of them, I love my best friend Bun Bun. He was always there for me, through thick and thin, teaching me the most important lesson of all, the power of friendship. It was the greatest, most wonderful place in the entire universe. That is, until the darkness came. In a moment's notice, the paradise I once knew was gone forever. Everyone was taken! Gus the Gator, Lily Ladybug, Seymour Skunk, Sun... All my friends were corrupted by the darkness in an instant! All except for Bun Bun. We were able to find shelter inside, at least momentarily. But we didn't know how to process what we'd just seen. Baby, I'm scared! Don't worry, Bun Bun. I'll always keep you safe. That's a promise I never thought I'd break. I was sure that the power of our friendship was strong enough to conquer any evil. I was wrong. Eventually the darkness caught up to us and took Bun Bun away from me, corrupting him. <laughs> Soon after the darkness surrounded me, I could feel its black stench weighing heavy on my mind. It's evil aura emanating inside me. All was lost. But then, a miracle happened. We reached the end of the show. The corruption had tainted my world enough for me to finally realize what it really was. A children's cartoon. I landed in the Rick and Morty universe. Or one of the several Rick and Morty universes. Morty tried to explain everything to me, but it was hard to keep track of it all. He said that learning with Pippi was just one of several realities, and that there were others with all sorts of different creatures and people. He gave me a portal gun so I could travel to them and try to prevent the darkness from spreading. And then Mr. Sanchez said that we were wasting our time and that life was meaningless or something. That the darkness was eventually going to destroy everything and that we should just accept it. I ignored that part. And I began to explore. One of the first worlds I visited had a bunch of cavemen with dinosaur appliances and cars with no floors. I was introduced to a nice family, the Flintstones. Fred, the dad, said I was going to love it there. And even though I missed some of the technology I was used to, it seemed like a nice place. Or it was. The darkness will stop at nothing to consume all. No world is too primitive or insignificant. And once it's able to take hold of you, there's nothing that can stop you from becoming one of its minions. It didn't take long before they all turned. Wilma, Barney, Betty, Dino. I had to continue on with my journey once again. More of the same happened in the realm of Scooby-Doo. Everyone was so nice. Fred played awesome music on road trips with the Mystery Machine, and Shaggy would make awesome snacks. We had to deal with ghosts or other spooky creatures occasionally, but they always ended up being humans. Of course, the real monster is the darkness. Ghouls, phantoms, and mummies had nothing on the evil inside that glitchy black goo. So I kept searching for a safe place to stay. A new universe to call home. I traveled far and wide. The Amazing World of Gumball, Looney Tunes, Dexter's Laboratory, all under the control of the darkness. 
Even Steven's universe wasn't strong enough to resist it. I don't know how or why. It seemed to be following me. Like its attacks were personal. I decided then that I wasn't going to keep running and let more people suffer. I was going to fight back. If I was going to do that, I need an army. So I found the world with the strongest hero I could find. Marvelous man. It seems like he could do everything. Fly at the speed of light, shoot lasers from his eyes, smash bad guys using his super strength. He even had his trusty sidekick, Alloy Boy. Surely if anybody could take on the darkness, it'd be him. Um, excuse me, Marvelous Man? Jumpin' Junipers, Marvelous Man! Someone's turned this poor citizen's skin blue! It must have been that dastardly Dr. Diabolical, my arch nemesis. Actually, no, this is just... Never fear, little one. Marvelous Man is on the case! Aren't you supposed to go with him? Yeah, but I... I can't fly. I actually don't have any powers yet. I never should have been so foolish. The darkness struck all of his laser vision and lost his strength. It surrounded him. And with that, the darkness got perhaps his mightiest minion yet. It was a pain I was all too familiar with. But for Alloy Boy, this was new. He had never seen defeat, never felt the crushing blow of failure. I knew I had to protect him. I put random coordinates into my portal gun and fled, dragging Alloy Boy with me. He may just be a sidekick, but my army still needed a hero. With no idea where we were, we had to explore. It was a beautiful, luxurious mansion with a long, winding staircase. That's when I heard them. Help! Someone save us! Someone needed our help, and we didn't hesitate. Help! Though perhaps I should have. Red water began to drip from my eye. I had been attacked by the cat villainess Melora. I run it considering soon she'd become one of my teammates. Alloy Boy explained to her the dire situation at hand. That the darkness would soon be coming for her, too. She scoffed it off at first, of course. Most people have to see it for themselves to truly believe it. The three of us became a team and we went on several adventures together, including Adventure Time itself. We were on a quest to build an army strong enough to attack the darkness head on. It took quite some time, but we were able to find survivors, and all of them were willing to fight for the loved ones they lost. Over time, I had to learn to become the soldier that others need me to be. A leader of our rebellion. Our last stand against the enemy. It all led to a massive battle back in my homeworld. Learning with Pippi. It was chaos. I had lost several great friends that day. Still, the two forces seemed evenly matched. We might have had a chance to end things right then and there. But the darkness had one final trick up its sleeve. It was Bun Bun, my best friend. The darkness had corrupted him nearly beyond recognition, but I knew it in my heart. I couldn't bring myself to hurt him. He was the only real family I ever had. And because I was unwilling to act, the tide of our battle turned. It was a massacre. No one was able to resist the darkness, so I fled. I thought all was lost. The world of television was gone. That's when I realized something. I may have failed in this realm, but I could save others. It wasn't going to take the darkness long to start infecting video games too. That's when I met your friends, Captain and Veteran. They told me about game tunes and the invasion in Among Us and other worlds. They said that there was only one hero who could defeat the darkness for good. 